ho, 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 Serial Santa here to wish you all a happy holidays and a happy new year. And given this time of the year for gift wishes and believing that you can get whatever you want with a simple wish, I've got some wishes for my gaming future. This is for the Call of Duty developers along with Activision and also for EA and DICE in regards to Battlefield. Today, most of us buy games at retail shops and run home and pop them into our consoles and play. But with the new consoles, digital downloads are the next big thing, right? So how about rewarding those of us that play your games on both consoles? For example, we buy your games for $60 for our Xbox, then we pay another $60 for our PS3 or PS4. But what if you offer us dual console downloads for say $85, $90? And to ensure that this isn't abused by the buddy systems, the accounts that use the code for the download need to be linked to the same credit card for the dual download to actually work. I'm sure a ton of parents out there would be extremely happy if this happened, if they have kids like me that play on different consoles. Paying $85, $90 instead of $120 would be a huge move in giving back to those fans that support your company, your franchise, as well as most likely making this decision for dual console purchases a little bit easier. Sure, there are many that refuse to pay for a game twice, but this may tempt them to do it since there's a saving initiative. And let's take that one step further with the season pass or premium edition purchases. I would need to pay another $100 to get both of them on both consoles. How about if they were $70, $80 for both? Again, that would go a long way in making your fan base happy. And think about this. I'm sure there isn't a very large portion of the community that plays on both consoles, so you wouldn't be sacrificing too much of your bottom line to do this but the public relations and appreciation you would receive for such an offer would be tenfold return in loyalty and customer satisfaction. And in any business, aren't those two of the most desired traits in the consumer of your product? And while we're on this wild fantasy holiday wishing ride through the nether regions of my imagination, let's take a look at getting your games to work cross platforms in the online multiplayer. Wow! If these games are on dedicated servers, then it shouldn't be too much of a coding change to make it happen, right? Imagine, you wouldn't need to maintain PSN servers and Xbox Live servers and PC servers differently. You would just have one set of servers that handle all the games. Yes, the back end of getting lobbies to merge and game chat to work would require some thoughts and some additional work, but it should be absolutely doable. Granted, cross-platform party chat would be a stretch, but hey, feel free to surprise us. This will be great for all of your current and old games as well. Anyone playing an older game will have a better chance of finding an online game if all of the users are trying to play the game together and are all available in that pool of players. Plus, just think about the conversations after this happens when people want to talk about, oh, Xbox Live clan is better than the PS3 clan. They can actually get into a lobby and find out. Here's what some of these game developers and gaming companies need to do to broaden their imagination a bit. If their games are cross platforms in the multiplayer world, it would revolutionize the online gaming community. If you're an Xbox diehard, it won't matter on a multiplayer level since all players, PC or console, were in the same lobbies and community. Finding lobbies for older games would be less of a problem if you merge the numbers of players online. Granted, that would help me find games easier now in Modern Warfare, but in the future, playing Ghosts, Battlefield 4 with a merged community would be fucking awesome. Okay, maybe I drank a little too much eggnog today. But honestly, I think that if they started thinking and working on this now, we could see it within a couple years. What's that old saying? If you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. 
And seriously, we're not talking about sailing off the edge of the world. Oh wait, Columbus actually proved that uh, the world wasn't flat. Wait, well then, we're not talking about walking on the moon. Mm, yeah, oh wait. That was done after many thought it was impossible too. Again, it, it just might be the eggnog, but I'm sure if they wanted to make it happen, they could do so. And at the end of the day, they would still get the same sales on consoles and PCs for their games. You could have a much better online community for us to play. Just think about it. What other kind of crazy holiday wishes and out of the box ideas do you have? Leave your ideas and comments below. I'm really looking forward to reading them. Truly hope all of you have a great time with your family and friends during this holiday season and you all ring in the new year with optimism and focus on making 2014 the best year of your life. Have a safe and happy holidays, guys. I love you guys, I love your support, and I'm wishing you all the best. I've been Serial Santa, and I'm out. Ho, ho, ho!